And here we go. This is Goldeneye for the Wii, and I'm doing a time trial on the third stage of the game, the airfield. It's explosion-tastic, it's action-packed, and it's one of the few that you can do in under five minutes, so <laughs> I bet you're glad I picked this one. Uh, being an early stage of the game, in a second you'll get one of those instructional this is how you play the game boxes, but the clock stops, so you can go make a sandwich if you're so inclined, the game will wait for you. When you're ready, hit A, sprint across the field, switch to your AK-47, pop this guy, run up the stairs, turn around, and hit the big red press me button. Now why are we wasting time on the time trial doing this? Well, this time trial has to be done on the highest difficulty setting, which requires you to complete all the secondary objectives. So, there you go. Run down here between the boxes and the flames, and then shoot these two dudes that drop in front of you. Reason being is they've got a nasty habit of following you up the road and peppering your backside with lead. And being the highest difficulty setting, you will die right quick. Hey, Earl. Run, run, run past the truck, and you're going to want to slam on the brakes right before the stairs because those explosions, there's the last one, if you're standing by the door, they will kill you. And that's not good for time. There's a vest in the corner, but ignore it because there's another one coming up right quick. Shoot the guy who comes out the door. In the door. Up the stairs. And there's a big red press me button. Bye bye, whirly birdie. Now the vest I was talking about that's coming up is sitting right to the left of this computer console, so you'll pick it up as you vault over the uh, railing, and... Oh god, my eyes! Yeah. I did this run about ten times, that's the only time I ever got hit with a grenade. Anyway, uh, don't shoot the fire extinguisher on the wall because you will die. Don't run out of bullets because then you have to waste time subduing the guys with pretty lengthy, albeit cool, fisticuffs. Uh, two guys on each floor of this building. Here's these two. These computer consoles you have to take out. I try to do something fancy and run up the stairs backwards while I'm shooting them, but my positioning is off and I completely fail. And just like I complete... Oh god, that's embarrassing. Just... Wow. Yeah, bad aim. So the uh, blue and gray monitors on either side of the console are the weak spot that you shoot for massive damage. If you shoot it in the middle, you can unload an entire clip into it and it still won't explode, which disobeys movie and game logic. But what are you going to do? Step outside and a little mini cutscene will play, giving you a chance to wipe the sweat off your hands, but don't put the controllers down for too long because we're not done yet. This next part is simultaneously easy to pull off and easy to get killed on. As soon as you're able, aim to the right and shoot the guys on the bikes. One shot each, if you manage to hit them. There we go. Last enemy will poke his head out of the plane. Just shoot him. He'll fall out of the plane and do a barrel roll. <laughs> ah, that never gets old. Alright, so two more things. Both action commands or quick time events, whatever you prefer to call them. Uh, both of them are the shake the heck out of the remote and nunchuck variety the secret of which is make sure no one's watching because everyone looks really ridiculous when they do it. And for some reason there's a dead guy flying the plane. I'm all for equal opportunity employment, but that might be going a step too far. Anyway, with that last action command, we are done. But you will notice that the counter is still counting, and yep, there is no way to skip the cutscenes. This ending cutscene is about 45 seconds long, so... You'll want to have at least that much left on the clock. I do apologize for kind of a shaky run. Uh, I wasn't running very straight or aiming too well. Thing is, is I'm piping the video through my computer and there's a bit of a lag. So aiming is really hard. Walking a straight line is hard, but eh, hey, got it done. Uh, if you're playing this on your television, also my television is about five feet to the right, so I'm playing this sitting sideways, which is kind of hard, but. Yeah, I still managed to eh, nearly a minute under the time. Uh, you can probably press that to under four minutes. So, happy 4th of July, everyone. Take care, and see you soon. Bye.